Hello everyone. Welcome to Monday in the third week of Lent. Our Gospel for today is Luke chapter 4 verses 24 to 30. In the Gospel we hear Jesus speaking in the synagogue at Nazareth about the prophet Elijah and how Elijah was not sent to his own people but to a foreigner. Why? Because so often prophets are not accepted in their own country, their own place, by the people they know the best. Let us pray. Our psalm today is Psalm 42. And the first verse goes like this. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Lord, we look to you. We look to you for our life, for our breath, for our existence. We long to be close to you and to follow your ways more closely. For the times we have gone astray, for the times we have not sought you in others, for the times we have not acted with love, we ask for forgiveness and for the strength to begin again. Amen. So, Jesus, we know, was rejected by those who knew him best. His message challenged the, those whom he had spent most of his life with, people he had grown up with. The message of the kingdom challenged them, made them uncomfortable. And so they rejected the messenger, even though they knew him. Dear friends, the gospel will always be challenging. Challenging for us, disciples of Jesus, sure, but also challenging for others. Perhaps those who are hearing it for the first time, perhaps those who have been hurt by the church. The gospel is a challenge and sometimes we, we will be rejected. Sometimes people will not want to listen to us. When we invite them to an Alpha course, they say no. When we tell them about Jesus, they think we may be a bit crazy. But Jesus didn't stop sharing the good news because they tried to throw him down a cliff. Because they rejected him or looked at him in a strange way. He carried on because he was sure of the message that he had to proclaim, his ministry, his mission. And he knew it was more important than anything else. We need to have a similar certainty and conviction, a commitment to our faith, the good news, that Jesus loves us, it is our firm faith and trust and the experience of that love of God that calls us out and gives us the strength to keep going even when it is not easy. This week, let us make a real effort to share the good news with others. Let us pray. 
God, our Father, we ask that you give us your spirit to help us to witness to your love in the world. May we share the good news that you love us and that you want the best for us with others. We ask this in the name of Jesus, who is our Lord, our Saviour and our friend. Amen.